I'm back. So I have a lot of ideas on the subject of line. The next thing I'm going to do is think about how I can arrange those lines in a composition. And to do that, what I want to do is I want to create what's called thumbnail sketches. And that's basically just a small, quick, and I forget there's one more thing, but I'm, it will come to me. Thumbnail, thumbnail. So that means it's small. Thumbnail sketch. So I would recommend that you start to draw what you typically would want to, you know, it shouldn't be too small. I'm thinking somewhere in the range of, I don't know, three inches by three inches area. So length times width area. And in that, I'm going to take two or three lines and I'm going to do what I call TBLR. I'm going to take my lines and I'm going to touch the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. And I'm going to do another video close up so that you can see that, I think, better. But um, basically, if I was going to take, say, for example, I want to take a zigzag line, I can take the zigzag and starting at the bottom on my thumbnail, I'm going to think about how I can take the zigzag all the way to the top. There. Now I'm going to take a second type of line, and this time I think I'll go from left to right. So from left to right. There's really no wrong way to do this. And this time I'm going to do a loop-de-loop-de-loop from left to right. Now I have a composition and I would say that's enough to stop um, because you don't want to overload one area. And the nice thing about this when we start working with media it gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shapes to work in. So this is just a real warm up and then we're going to practice how we submit this to Schoology. All right, have fun making compositions. I'd like you to practice at least four. I drew four, two in here, but if you need to go on to a second page or what have you, you would just take a new page and divide it into fourths. The other thing about making thumbnails is they don't always have to be the same dimension. As a matter of fact, sometimes a thumbnail can be in a different shape. The sun is actually coming, setting here, so it's a little bit hard to see. Let me turn my camera this way, and that's a little better. So now I have four shapes to create thumbnail sketches. All right, give it a try.